Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Elden Ring. I'm just following the frozen river. I'm going generally south. I'm looking for the ruins that we explored before, so that I may explore somewhere further. Let's see what we can do. First things first, I'll just pass these guys. I don't have much interest in them. Just crabs, I don't care. I don't know why there's only two tiny crabs, unless a big one busts through the ice. I don't know if that's really going to be a thing in this game. Ah, well this is one thing I was looking for. I did not dismount. Not manually, no. And there are those wolves, I'll maybe deal with them later. They were supposed to be a hint about something, but in the first place, let's deal with the final encounter of Anastasia Tarnished Eater. She wasn't a problem the last couple times I fought her, so hopefully this is the same. Don't two-hand a weapon when you're dealing with me. I'm gonna really go nuts. Oh, that she jumped and just didn't attack. All right. There it is. It's a close one. Turns out that thing kind of stings. Don't worry though, I got this. I am the one who plunge attacks. That is some swing though. Good dodge rolling. I had that one coming. Oh, almost got it. Wouldn't that have been nice? Why is she not healing? Does she have a death wish or what? Uh, she's generally easy, but if she ever connects, it's loads of damage. Done. That's the end of her. Got anything cool for me? Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Damn. No equipment or anything, no unique item, but at least what she gave me is super rare. Now, these wolves were supposed to be a hint about something. They're going in a particular direction. Not because of the compass. I don't even know if they... If they do care about me, but look at what they were following. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit this thing, unfortunately. The wolves considered me more interesting. Maybe I'll just let it go. But now that I have an enemy actually trying to kill me, eh. I wasn't looking to kill the wolves because it's going to be very hard to follow a white trail on white snow. But alas, here we are. That one might be still following the thing. Fast little guy, isn't he? Oh, you shouldn't have disturbed me, buddy. Now how am I going to catch this thing? I got to look for when it doubles back. Oh, well. I have somewhere else to be anyway. I'm glad that I found that stage. That was the main thing. Cleared her as a world boss. I'm gonna go back to the ruins. At least back in the general direction of the ruins. That is annoying. It's crazy that they actually move to follow me. And now I got a troll mad at me. Hey look, I found the ruins. However, I am kind of looking for something else. That actually scared me. <laughs> I don't know if I've heard a troll make that sound before. But it doesn't matter. D 
done. Yellow Annex Tunnel. And we're doing a mine, I guess. We have one of these setups, the elevator. Surprise, nothing behind me. Set a grace right at the start. Let's refresh ourselves. Nice, I can break the crystals. Summon sign, got it. Okay, no enemy here. Got a little concerned for a second. Do you think? Ah, oh, nice. I still don't see an enemy. It looks like I can go down. That is not the boss door. The fact that it's closed probably means it's locked, and in this case, yep. Oh boy. Yeah, there's an enemy. Oh. I still bonk them. It looks like these are a frozen version of the guys I normally fight, and they are tanks. What the hell? That, ooh, this is not good. I'm afraid of what a boss is gonna bring now. Bonk. Hoping for uh, some health back. There's the health. Not fully back yet, but it's fine. Freezing grease. I gotta stop comboing. I gotta. I gotta do the big heavy hits. Wow, I just couldn't do anything about that. But I need to do the real big hits. Cause anything else will bonk. That is unfortunate. Wow, just when you thought the, the stone digger guys were hard enough. <laughs> that is kind of cool, they break out of the ice. get some healing in while we can and fortunately my heavy hit at least still makes them flinch I like that this might be a difficult dungeon I'm gonna enjoy running past these guys in pure panic after a while I can fall oh great got another friend golden rune there it is. That's all I'm trying to do. Are you serious right now? There's two of these guys. You can see how this could get surprisingly scary, even though these are very basic enemies. Oh my god, smithing stone 6 and even 8. These guys just drop 8. Guess I found a grinding spot. Remember, smithing stone 8 is what I need. In fact, I can upgrade my sword right now. I have two of them now. That's crazy.
Oh, hello. I guess there's a way back up. Oh, that's annoying. I'll get a free hit, but this is gonna suck. I gotta go for the hardest hits I can. These guys can really ruin me. There's some free health at least. And now there's considerably less of a threat, I hope. Ugh. It's annoying because I'm going for the backstab, but when I mess it up, I just tap them and then I get punished for it. That's what I need. Alright. A rune arc. That's a major purple over there. And nothing over here? Oh, Smithing Stone 8. This is the cave for me! Clearly a threat. Cool entrance. Do you think this guy will stay dead? That's one of those alabaster lords. I need to see if I'm allowed to hit him. I am. I am. Oops, I dodged an hour early. And I'm dead. No, I'm not. That was just the initial stab. Fool. Should have killed me. Now you shall pay for your hubris, sir. I did it again. I did it again. And I dodged early. I can now fight Sir Alabaster Lord. There he is, with his cool entrance. I just gotta be very careful. I forgot about that move. But that's alright. As long as he bonks off of me, I'm good. All of a sudden, it's not so bad. Where was I the whole game? Should've been doing this a long time ago. Look at that, how professional. We have a drop. But does he stay dead? I got a sword. That's pretty fantastic. Great sword forged from a blue-white meteoric ore. The blade conceals gravity manipulating magic. A weapon unique to the Alabaster Lords, a race of ancients with skin of stone who are said to have risen to life when a meteor struck long ago. Alabaster Lords pull. Thrust into the ground, create a gravity well, deals damage, pulls enemies in. Has a greater area of effect than gravitas. So what does that mean? Like more so than the spell? And it's just an ability of the sword. Pretty good. Pretty good. Are you kidding me? An ancient dragon smithing stone is just sitting here? And there's weirdly nothing behind the planks. What about where the lord came from? Eight? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is great. This is great. I would teleport out of here, but I'd have to deal with those stone diggers again. But I did, this is looking real nice. This is the dungeon for me. Just like that, I can upgrade my sword. No, just the one more time. But with one more stone, I could do it a second time. This is great, this is great. And now I can actually go ahead and make the jump. It was best to kill these guys first because they see me pretty easily when I get to the ladder. So they're already taken care of up here. Now I can actually advance. And should I have to do this dungeon again? I don't know how effective they will be at chasing me. We got at least one person in here. This 
guy has more of the magic rocks, which is unfortunate because these guys actually hurt. I gotta watch their health, because they're actually strong now and they got the magic, but that takes care of him. Explosive stone clump, I'm not terribly impressed. Eight. I, I can upgrade my sword twice. Give me six more stone eights, and I can max my sword, which is insane. It took this long in the game to be able to do it, but ladies and gentlemen, we have the chance. Climb it on this side. And the stone diggers do know how to climb ladders, so I can't just use this for a free escape. Enemy... Oh! Bonk. I want him to stay on the platform if I can help it. Because I don't feel like chasing him. His friend should still be oblivious. I hope he is. Clumsy timing on my part. Yeah, it looks like just the one. Bonk. I could sure use some healing. Sir, could you please oblige me? Oh, thank you, sir. Too kind. You're too kind. Really? These guys react more quickly than I thought, but I got him. Another stone eight. Insane. This is the dungeon for me. Nothing else to find here, though, so... Climb some more. Ear crackling. No kidding. I repeat, do you think they stay dead? I don't see any friends in here, this is good. I'll take your hero's room. Hero's room 5, damn. This is, uh. Um, this is an Onyx Lord, I guess? This guy's annoying with his rhetoric moves. But I guess I poked him enough where I still got the stun, even without all the guard counters. That was some punch. What? Whoa! Oh, look at the room! Awesome! Do you think I'll learn that move? No drop? But that move was so cool. Oh, here's a little thing. Are you what I want? Somber 9. No, but that's amazing. Wait, was there? Okay, now it just leaves a white spot on the wall. I was wondering if there was more. Eight, that's what I want. Ah, so cool. What? Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, another eight. There's no way I have 12, but seven's pretty good. And I could grind the, uh, the stone diggers for more, even though that's tedious, but I, I could do it. And boom, beginning of the dungeon. Easiest thing in the world. Another eight. Keep it coming. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I might actually back out now. Yeah, I'm back at the beginning, before the fall and everything. I can just leave. 
No, I can pay it. Plus 23 sword, very nice. Actually, I could talk to Roderica too. Oh, it costs for the skeletal militiamen? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I don't have a great grave glove ward. Uh, oh well. Oh well. No mandatory encounters at all. Let's open the big bad boss doors and see what we find. Kind of see it through the uh, screen, it's fine. Astel Stars of Darkness? How could we not? It's really, this is the boss I abandoned ship on in the Lake of Rot. This is just a dungeon boss. It's actually crazy. Look at that face. I'm not hurting it that much. Go, Mimic Tear. It's all you. I'm out. I don't even know what it did. Uh, did that kill me? It did not kill me. Fool. Pathetic. It'll take more than that, apparently. A horror. Oh my god. No wonder I abandoned ship in the last boss. Like, there's just nothing I could do. I did roll through that, though. That was pretty cool. Didn't roll through the second part. How do you want me to beat this guy? Freaking bloodborne ass boss? My mimic tier is gonna die because, of course, it is. This guy is hard. Oh great, he caught him in something. Goodness gracious. How the hell? Yeah, maybe work harder at hitting him. My minute here is freaking done. There is no way, dude. This boss is crazy. Well, that's the end of that. I can't even believe this. Awesome effect. Here, I'll hit you right in your stupid bubbles. How do you like that? I don't even know what it did. Yes, I do. Better that didn't hit me. You think I get a, a stun on this guy? Uh-oh. Nope, that didn't work. Oh my god. You know what I'm going to do that's surprisingly daring? Hold off on my summon. For starters, that one's free. Next? It's always a little delayed from what you think. And now... Plunge attack. And that's the fight. That's, that's what the fight's going to be. Plunge attacks. Forever. Uh-oh. Wait for it. I dodged too early. No, I didn't. Good enough. Not ideal, but good enough. Okay. 
sometimes when he comes out... Aha! It's uh, a grab and it's an instant kill for me. Plunge attacks forever, baby. That is assuming I can connect. That's the true ideal, is if I can hit with my attacks. What a concept, I know. What an obnoxious AoE on that one. I picked a bad time to heal, but I didn't get punished. Just plunges, baby, just plunges. Now I have to be scared, because I don't know what side he's coming from. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that would have been a death. Freaking nightmare. You have to be very deliberate for this fight. It's so frustrating, because this guy does oodles of damage. More than one oodle, even. Uh-oh. Ugh. I was honestly hoping for more mandible attacks, and I'm not getting any of those. Uh, well... Oh, this is bad. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I never quite had the timing for that one, so it's very scary. That one technically is actually more damaging, but... I don't know. I'm just not as bothered by it for some reason. Now I'll summon and hope to God he... Okay, good, he's appearing from far away. We're, we're healthy, ladies and gentlemen. Now I have my Mimic tier. I summoned a little before half health because... Damn. Uh, because... Eventually he'll start throwing all sorts of asteroids, or meteors, or whatever. And I don't want to be around for that. Don't worry, I love the AOA. I love it. It's, it's good and not bad. It'd be cool if we could hit the guy once. There it is, there's once. Now I have to be afraid. Very afraid. No, we're good. Okay. And he probably would have gone to the Mimic anyway. Here's the Nightmare, but it's going after... Both of us. Alright, there we go. That's why I summoned, by the way. Ugh. Uh, see ya. That looks so gorgeous. Although it's devastating, but it looks so cool. Anyway. Damn. Ah! Whoa! Now, do you think we could finish it? My mimic tier is already almost dead. This is freaking insane. Bye! One, two, three. <laughs> the reach on that thing. And now I have to be afraid again. Okay, we're good. Again? Really? Can I get behind me? Jeez. Well, that, that actually went about perfectly. Magically. One, two, three. My Mimic is gonna die. It was a good distraction while I lasted, right? Give it a damn rest. I can't even hit with my plunge attack. Get stunned, dude. And that's it for my min. Oh, my mimic's already dead. Didn't even notice. Good fight. Good fight. You're really supposed to get stunned, my friend. Oh no. Okay. Huh. Good. Oh, I did it. <laughs> fight's not over. Oh, come on now. I'll actually heal for this. Look at this health. This is insulting. But I think it's over now. That was a bad shot on their part. Got him. That took a while. Meteorite of Astel. Stars of Darkness, baby. And you know what this means, if I can beat this one, perhaps I can beat the one in the Lake of Rot, which was an actual major dungeon boss. That was hard.
Actually, let me unequip the Mimic Summon now. Which, for some reason, I put all the way over there. And let me reset my Talismans. Because I actually increased jump attacks. That was very, very useful. Healing from that one hit that I got in the entire fight was not great. Uh, and Spell Drake Talisman for magic damage. Let's go back to physical. I would still like Dragon Quest uh, plus two. I got plus... Oh no, I'm missing plus three for bolts. I don't have a damn thing going on for Halic Drake. And I'm missing plus two for Pearl Drake. Uh, pff, okay. Anyway, let's look up this spell that I'm assuming summons all the meteors, which is super cool. It's probably an incantation. It is not. Meteorite of Astel. One of the glintstone sorceries that manipulates gravitational forces summons a void that emits a hail of meteorites. A manifestation of the power with which Astel leveled the Eternal City. Ugh. That was a lot. I don't think there's anything else around here. Probably just an exit teleport. That big door is how I came in. I just realized this is ice. Not that it's slippery. Maybe there's no teleporter here because it's really easy to just leave. No, we weirdly the teleporter is by the door. Whatever. Now you know what I'm going to do is head to the liturgical town. I want to head toward the conspicuous Erd tree. Let's put a marker over here and see if I'm allowed to just make my way over there the traditional way. Man, I tell ya. Oop, 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 nope, nope. Before I forget, I will level. But I, I tell ya, that was exhausting. The good news, though, is if I want to grind for Smithing Stone 8, I know where to go. Oh, so much endurance. I have more endurance than I do strength. This probably should not be. But I can wear the bull goat helm. I am a monster. Look at this. I have the full bull goat set. Now I can go back to pumping strength. Or even arcane. I could use some more smithing stones. I know it's the end of the game, but I could use some more smithing stones. I am missing, what, five? Four. Four more Smithing Stone 8s, and I am just done with my broadsword, because I have more than enough ancient dragging Smithing Stones. The game was shockingly kind about those. Now how close am I to this Urge Tree? I'm getting there, actually. And what is... Nah, it's just a Crimson Flask Termite, I don't care so much. There's a... Or not Termite, Scarab, but there's a bunch of Scarabs. And what are you? An Albinoric? Yes. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I kind of assumed that as I got close to the Erd Tree, I would encounter the Guardians, but perhaps it's because it's up above. I'm going to ignore those Scarabs. I don't have need for them. Or of them? So are we not doing the Tree Avatars then? We're just going to go with Albinorix? Good timing. Whoa. Wow, okay. Yeah, I got messed up here because I don't know if I'm quite at the Earth Tree itself, but I certainly had my fair share of uh, Albinorix instead of Earth Tree avatars guarding the place. They're crazy acrobatics. Oh, that's bad. I woke up the big guy. I'm gonna go over here now. I have to be very careful with this one. He actually has health, and he actually hurts. And he actually has super armor. Very super armor. Even the plunge attack didn't do it. There it is. I have to do multiple plunge attacks. I gotta heal before even dealing with the Erdtree Tree Avatar, because you know there's an Erdtree Tree Avatar. How could there not be? Maybe if I kill this guy, I'll get my flask back. 
No. I can certainly summon, though. I can do that. And maybe I did not get my flask back, because we have that guard over there. In any case, they're guarding Dragon Wound Grace. There's my flask back. Oh no, the tree's up there. On one hand, I did not need to fight these guys. On the other hand, eh, I got the item they were guarding. Now, is there a convenient way? Yes, there is. And here's the summon thing. Got it. I see someone guarding the place, though. Right? There, clearly. Yeah, these are the traditional avatars, I think. Or the avatar guardians. I'm okay with this. But they go down more easily than the albinorics. Annoying poison attempts, but we're good. Did I hear a weapon? Oh wow, guys behind me and just missed. That's enough of that. I don't see anything, so I'm assuming he's gonna come in. So let's go ahead and just summon now. And we're good to go. And we have a glorious, glorious mimic with a brand new helmet. Minor Erd Tree, here I am. Are we really not doing this? He's way out here? Away from the Earth Tree? I guess he's guarding a different entrance? Whatever. Oh, it's Putrid? Oh, great. That means we got the Scarlet Rock going on. At least he's not gonna clone himself this time, right? That's bad, though. There's the spread of the Scarlet Rod, which is more dangerous to risk catching it than to actually catch it. That really hurt. The Scarlet Rod is heavy poison, but the spread of that toxin. Ugh. Let's get the stun. We should probably have this. Just facing the wrong way, so no route for me. There's some damage for you. Oh, I hate this. At least I've learned that you can dodge that crap. Mimic tier is gone, though, that's the bad news. I definitely do not want to be on the front when he's doing that move. Okay, let's get ready to get in there and do some damage. I'll break poise if I can. What I really don't want is his butt stop, because that spreads Scarlet Rot like nobody's business. Fortunately, all those lights are going after the Mimics here, so I really lucked out. Oh, this is what I don't want. 
that is incredibly dangerous. Not because of the Scarlet Rod, but because it hurts to even start to catch it. It hurts a lot. I do not want that. It's devastating. If I can get a second Poise Break, though, then this fight is free. That nah, doesn't even matter. We got him. Mimic here's still swinging. I win. 160. That was worth more than the boss of the mini dungeon. Anyway, thorny cracked tier, ruptured crystal tier. What are these things? Makes consecutive attacks grow stronger. Very, very nice. So I have that as a talisman, but I can have that in a physic as well. Ruptured crystal I've already gotten. Causes it to explode. I don't even get that. Oh, it's defective. It's just bad. <laughs> That's so weird. Like, is there an actual point to that? Or is it just a joke? I'm not even sure. But good news, we've done the putrid avatar. Mimic is still around here for some reason, but we've covered that. Shack of the Lofty, I don't know if I care about that. I guess I could see if there's anything over this way, but I'm kind of doubting it, honestly. Because here I'm heading south. That's not really helping me very much. But it looks like it's just cliff face. I gotta see if there's a way to get up top or across. Or maybe even, maybe there's even something that way. I don't know if I want to really bet on it. Yeah, this might just be bad news. I'm actually not that far from leveling up again. Crazy. Alright, we've reached the checkpoint, so for now it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We cleared out an NPC invasion, we got an incredibly hard boss of a mini dungeon. Can you believe that was the boss for that dungeon? And then another Erdtree Avatar. Those things are a dime a dozen, aren't they? But we got them. We're not quite done exploring the consecrated snowfield, though. There's still world bosses and even mini dungeons to find. Until next time, everyone.